Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Gamecocks are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Stadium ringing across the plains of Alabama for miles and miles. Our game is right around the corner. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. South Carolina has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. It's fielded at the two. He's taken down at the 24. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. comes out and he's tackled at the 24 yard line wow very close to turning it over but they'll keep possession of the football way to play heads up out there that's just one more reason to play to the whistle so it's second and ten ball on the 24 was the intended receiver on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And he has it on the corner. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Not a bad return. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. And he tackles him hard at the 49. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From the 49-yard line. It's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't 
don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play third down eight yards to go ball on their own 22 quick strike to the receiver he goes out of bounds at the 22 that makes it fourth and eight Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. McCollum takes it at the 43. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Auburn's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Mike five, Mike five. He's tackling at about the 39-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. complete he's got room to work steps out of bounds at the 33 yard line i think he just barely got it that's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive first down 10 yards to go ball on the 33 and a quick throw tackle made around the 27 yard line that'll make it second and four Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's around five yards gained there on the play for the tailback. It's a nice option play here by the offense. Running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chains. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down at the 11. How about the big fellows up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Check down, check down. In one, in one. Nice five. Go, go. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they push him out right around the 8-yard line. Make it second and seven. They're at the 8. Second down. tries to buy some time breaks one and scores and he converts the extra point here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis North Texas doing battle in Denton. And for TCU, win today and go bowling. TCU has the edge, 10-3. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. 
across the 30. They'll bring him down at the 33. South Carolina's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He might have a chance. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He chucks it downfield. That close to being intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Gamecocks in front, 7-0. to the action now here in the second quarter. two-yard line. Hands it to the back. The 10. Touchdown, Auburn! Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. So that's a six-play, 68-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart up. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Auburn ready to kick this one off. McCollum from the six. Tackle made at the 28. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He scrambled. And he's sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there's big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against it, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. From their own 26-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Dives and he's down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. First down grab by the receiver, and it's caught. That's a great tackle at the 46. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. And now the ball is loose. They fall on it. 
That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. That'll make it 39. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48. Good possession there for the defense. Fourth down. Lloyd is the punter. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. The Gamecocks will use their first time out of the half. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's on the run. Very good tackle in space. That's a deep four on the ball. That, that makes, makes it second and six. six. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Mike five, Mike five. Set, green 19, green 19. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick out to his receiver, and he's hit immediately. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. Punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 29. Third down. Let's go. Hey, check, check back, 
They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That'll make it fourth and six. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. That makes it second and ten. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. That's good for him. Check, check. Bring up Break up. Break up. Zips it to the back. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. Jones, the return man. At the 35. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 23-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Complete. He's got room. Tackle the 39-yard line. Johnson takes him down at the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Right 
First and ten. Ball on the 39. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From their own 42-yard line. Third down. Complete knocked away. Carter is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the twenty seventh. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Run, 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 run. run right side. And he's leveled at the 30. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. And now he pitches it. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. Makes it to the 47. to about the 27-yard line. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Second and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. to about the 27-yard line. Throws it out right to the running back, and he's taken down at the 29. That makes it fourth and 12. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He zips it. Incomplete. 
huge play for the defense. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. They'll bring him down at the 39. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Fights forward to about the 39. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 44. That's a team 17. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44. Four down, four down. Mark Barr, Mark Barr. Aaron and out long. No, incomplete. to get it down to the 34. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, we're even at seven in this one. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Quick pass. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. hit immediately. That makes it second and eight. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Inside the ten. And they make the stop at about the three-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams and their goal line sets on the field. Brought down at the one. It's the 11th play of the drive. Mike five, Mike five. Roger, Roger. He, he walked, he check, check. He, he, he. Counter play. Touchdown, South Carolina.
He makes the PAT. It was an 11 play, 72 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Rivers has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gets out to about the 31. Well, I can say this much, Kirk, at least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team has been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard, and at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's tackled at about the 31. No That'll bring up second and 11. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at about the 37 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Play fake. Defense bearing down. That hurts because they really need to get something going and soon. That makes it fourth and four. Less than three minutes in the game. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game four. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 36-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. to try and scramble he's taken down at the 49 he made a real nice play on that one I'll tell you what in today's game you have to have the ability to run the football give the quarterback a lot of credit he made a great play and really gave his team a boost as a man he'll lose big yards that's a loss of four yards well that's just a sound play by the defense they dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Fires out to his wide end, and he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. Auburn will take their final timeout. defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. And it really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. Murphy gains about two yards on the run. Second and eight. Ball on the 34-yard line. South Carolina is up by a touchdown. Here we go. Run left side. Makes it out to about the 26. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. No gain on the play. 
first down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Yeah, yeah. Nice five. Nice five. This one's in the books. The Gamecocks with the win. 14-7. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.